When you finish designing and finish prototyping your designs, now comes the time for sharing and XD is great for that because it has design, prototype and share all within one app. All you have to do is just switch these tabs. Now just imagine that we have finished this prototyping, we included all of the different effects that we want and we want to present this design to our client. How can we do that? All you have to do is simply click right here where it says share and you have few options right here. So right here at the top, a link is going to appear here when you create it. So you can change the title of this project. So let's call it, for example, feed, just so that we can keep it consistent with the name of this artboard. You can view settings. So where, why you want to share this with your client? You want to get feedback on your design or prototype, you're going to use this one. If you want to send this design to your developers, then you're going to use this one for development, which is going to share the design spec and developers are going to be able to see different colors, positions, margins, paddings, sizes of fonts, how different icons look like, images and so on. We have presentation, so optimize for presenting your design. If you want to use this into an, an environment, for example, an office environment, if you are presenting this to your clients in person. User testing, so it removes all of the different barriers, so users basically have to figure everything out for themselves, how they can be uh, using this prototype in real time. So if you're collecting user data and you're doing user testing, that's what you should be focusing on right here. And finally, we have the custom. So you can customize whatever appears on the screen when somebody else is viewing this prototype or when you're sharing this prototype as part of the presentation, for example. So you can optimize do they have the navigation controls? Do they have the comments section if you want to receive the comments or not? and things like that just so that you can customize it as much as possible and in order for it to fit your requirements. So for our case, let's just use the design review and you can require password if you want the client to open this using a password. You can click require password and then you can type your password right here. Finally, you can click create link and this is going to load to 100% and depending of how big or small your project is, how many different artboards you have, and finally, how many images you have, because images are big contributor, that's how long it's going to take. So what you can do right here is simply click right here, copy link, and I'm going to simply paste this link using my Google Chrome browser. And here is how that looks like. So I can simply click right here, and it will show me that effect. I can click right here to go back. And that's basically if you imagine what you're going to send to your client. Here you can go back to the home screen. And this is our home screen. This is a second screen. So if I jump right here, you can see that it goes back to the home screen. And if you imagine that we have like 50 different artboards right here, it will show number 50 right here. And clients can scroll between each artboard right here using those commands. Finally, if somebody wants to leave you a feedback, they can do that so by creating a free Adobe account and then simply placing this pin to here, for example, and maybe I want to say, make this image bigger, like so, and I can simply click submit. You can use this add character if you want to mention a user, which is a great addition. So for example, if you're working as part of the team, maybe you want to mention some uh, designer that designed this part of the design, you can simply mention them right here, they will get a notification, it will ping them and then they can jump back and see for themselves which is the feedback for them. But if I switch right here between the screens, you cannot see the feedback anymore because the feedback is on another screen and you can see that it's on the feed one. This is the uh, feed one screen, but the feed screen is the screen which contains this feedback. So for example, you can simply jump back, click here and it will take you back to this screen and you can simply click just imagine you have 50 different uh, comments on this screen from your client. You can simply click one, number two, it will take you to it, number uh, one, number three, and so on and so forth. And every single comment is going to be marked with this number. 
when you are done with the changes you can simply click resolve and it will remove that comment and you can simply move on with your design process and you can then simply share another one with your client when you finished it and then they can provide you with a fresh new feedback and then you can move on until you both reach the agreement that the design process has finished. So that's how easy it is to share using Adobe XD. If you want to make any additional changes, so let's jump to our design. And if I click right here on my image and maybe I can lower the opacity just a bit, I can jump back to share and I can hit update link because I made that change and I want to update my link. And once it finishes right here on 100%, I can simply hit copy link or I can click on this link and it will open it up in a new tab on my browser. As you can see, it's loading. And once, uh, once it finishes loading, you can see that the opacity is lowered on this image. So when I click on it, you can see that this the screen has not changed. But when I jump back, this screen has and it updated like so. I recommend you do this just so, for example, you have 20 different screens make those 20 changes and then hit update link otherwise you will have to go screen by screen and update 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 every single time you have to do that before you send it to your client in the next video we are going to explore how you can work with different file types in adobe xd what are the benefits what are the drawbacks and how you can improve your workflow and speed while using other file types so i'll see you there